Hey guys, welcome back to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be kind of like the start of a toy rotation. So I'm going to take you guys into the playroom, kind of show you how everything looks right now. My kids got a ton of toys for Christmas and I'm sure a lot of you moms out there can relate. The toy room is kind of overflowing right now. So my goal for this year is to start a toy rotation. So I have some bins in back of me and I also have some bins right here i'm in our homeschool room right now and the closet right here i cleared it out that way i can start like a toy storage right here i do have some toys in here so we just have like a lot of toys pretty much everywhere in the house so i just want to organize them better so like i said i'm going to take you guys in the playroom show you guys like everything that's in there and then i'm going to kind of see like which toys i want to take out of there i'll probably keep a lot of like the newer toys that my girls got for christmas in there since they are new they haven't been playing with them that long so those ones will probably stay and then i will like rotate them out this is like my first video of starting a toy rotation so if you guys have any like tips or advice on doing so please let me know down below because i'm just all new to this my mom actually does a toy rotation at her house and the way she does it is she just throws like a bunch of like random toys in bins and then she separates them i believe she does it like weekly i want to say i'm not sure how i'm going to do it i don't know if i'm going to like do the toy rotation monthly weekly i'm not too sure yet so i'm kind of winging it but i'm excited to get it done because like i said the toy room is just overflowing so i just want to organize it better so i'm gonna just go ahead and take you guys into the playroom okay so this is our playroom this is what it looks like if you guys want to see like a full like breakdown of where all of this stuff is from and just kind of like a little playroom tour i'll leave that video linked because we actually did like a playroom makeover because this playroom looked a lot different when we first moved in there was just a lot of this stuff just was not in here but yeah this is its current state right now as you can see there's just so many toys it's just overflowing these bins are really full as well so i have to just go through everything and i want to take out a lot of the older toys because i'm noticing that the girls are just getting really bored with their toys and that's pretty much like the point of doing a toy rotation is so that way your children aren't overwhelmed with a lot of toys and they pretty much just play with their toys more because they're not seeing them constantly so it's kind of like a surprise whenever you rotate the toys because it's more fun since they've been hidden for a while so yeah it's just there's a lot of toys their kitchen is full too with a bunch of stuff there's a bunch of toys in here and if you're new to my channel i do have three girls so this is all of their toys jade is my youngest so she doesn't really play with toys yet but she does have a little stash going on because she did get toys for Christmas. Jade is about to be three months. Layla is seven and Aurora is three. So I'm gonna just go ahead and jump in to this toy rotation. This little basket right here is all of their dress up stuff. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna tackle this bin. I definitely need like a different storage situation for their dress up stuff, but they pretty much play with that all the time. So I'm probably just going to leave all of that stuff there. And then this is their little sensory table. So I think I'm going to tackle this bin first. A lot of the toys in this bin are just really like small. This is pretty much like the small <laughs> random toy bin. There's just like little LOL dolls. I believe there's some Legos in here. There's some animals in here. So I'm going to go through all of this and then... I have these two containers right here that I'm going to be using for this bin. So I'll try to link as much as I can down below that I show you guys. So this first bin right here, this is like all of Layla's little things. So there's like Shopkins in here, there's Hatchimals. This is pretty much just like all of her small toys. And then this pink one right here, this is her little LOL bin. So she has all of her dolls in here. She has like their little accessories. So I'm gonna go through this bin right here 
pull out any LOLs, put it in that container, and then any like really small toys, I'm going to put it in this clear bin. this entire first bin and I kind of have little piles going on so these are like all similar toys so like all of Aurora's little people toys are right here Layla likes to collect these Pez candies so I have those here um, there's some like Minnie Mouse toys some like PJ Masks toys minions so I kind of just like grouped everything together and then I'm also going to go through these three bins. I'm not sure if I'm going to touch this one because I don't want to do it without Layla. Because these are all of her Barbies. And last time I got rid of some Barbies, she kind of got upset because I guess I got rid of some ones that she played with. So I'm going to wait on this bin for her. This bin right here is like all of the big like cars. So there's like a Barbie trailer in here. There's a train. There's a Peppa car. I'm probably going to take some of these cars out just because there's a lot. And we've had these in the playroom for a while. This bin right here is kind of random like Christmas toys that the girls just got. So I'm probably going to keep this entire bin, like all of the toys that are in this bin, I'll probably keep them. But I need to organize them better, so I'm going to take them out. And then up here... This is like a barn that Aurora just got, so this one is going to stay. And then this one I'm going to take out of the playroom. This is their dollhouse, but this has been here for a while now. So I'm going to take this one out and then leave that one. I'm probably going to take out these blocks because these blocks have been in here a while. It's just like a bunch of random blocks. I'm probably going to throw these in a bin though versus like this little container. So these are probably going to get taken out and then I'm going to bring our Love Every block set because we do have another one. It's currently in the homeschool room, but I'm going to bring that one in here instead. This is a new Christmas toy, so I'm going to leave this one. I'm probably going to leave the Peppa house because Aurora just got like a bunch of new Peppas. So she's been playing with that, so I'm going to leave the house. I'm probably going to leave this little barn as well along with that one or actually i'm not sure yet i might take out this barn and then i'll just leave like all of the little all of the little animals i'll probably just throw them in a basket and leave those and then these eggs will probably stay because i noticed aurora has been playing with these quite a bit lately they're really cool because they come let me see if i can do it these eggs come apart like that and then they have shapes so you kind of have to like figure out which shape goes where so they all just they all just break apart and then they have shapes so you have to match them this is a newer christmas toy as well actually i think layla might have got this for her birthday but either way it's a newer toy so this one is going to stay and then I'm going to take out all of the puzzles and I'm going to store them in the homeschool room. And this one is probably going to go as well because this has been here for a while. It's like a little sushi set. 
I have to go through this entire bin and a lot of this is probably gonna go as well inside of their room because a lot of this is just like stuffed animals and the girls don't really play with stuffed animals too much. The Yodas are gonna stay because the girls just got those for their birthdays. The Toy Story toys are gonna stay because they play with those all the time. And then up here, this basket is animals. This one is like a bunch of like people, um, wooden blocks, just like a bunch of wooden toys. We have some stackers up here. These are some like counting ladybugs. We have the rainbow. This one I'm probably going to take out. We have come all this way, love. So I don't see us stopping now. My life's an adventure. toys that I pulled out these stuffed animals are gonna be going in their room because they don't really play with them so I'm gonna put them away these ones right here are going to stay the girls always play with the Toy Story ones so those are definitely going to stay I kept some babies because they really like playing with them Aurora just got these two for Christmas so I'm gonna keep those and then the baby Yodas are also new, so those are all going to stay. So those are going to go back in that pink bin. And then these two are the little toys that I was showing you guys. And then pretty much all of this right here is going to go. All of these cars right here are going in storage. The barn is going to go in storage, but I think I'm going to take out all of the animals. That way they can use them with the newer barn that they just got. This grill set is new, so that's going to stay. The dollhouse is going. And then all of these are also probably going to go into storage. So this bin right here is like all of the little figures that the girls have. So there's minions in here. There's the little people. There's Minnie Mouse ones. This one is definitely going into storage because this is more of like um, Layla's collectible stuff so she doesn't like really play with this she just likes collecting these because these are the little um, Funko Pop like dolls so she likes collecting oops she likes collecting those so she doesn't really play with them they're just more of like a collectible thing same thing with the Pez she doesn't really play with them they're just collectibles because she likes it this bin is going into storage this is like all of Layla's little dolls but I'm already going to keep all of her Barbies in there so I feel like she doesn't need Barbies and dolls so this one is gonna go into storage and then pretty much all of this stuff is going to storage too <laughs> Said, yeah, it kind of broke my heart. 
Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think I'm trying my best to hold on but I feel myself giving You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on Who you are The things you say is always One step too far But I know that I've Played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry Say we're sorry Say we're sorry I guess that we should say we're sorry And start again Don't give up, we're holding on For what it's worth I'll try to change We can't fix our broken hearts Loving me is not so goddamn easy as I think You try your best to hold up But I see you're giving in You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't wanna change who you are so here is my current storage situation it's not the best right now but I didn't want to buy like any shelving yet because I wanted to see like how many like toys I pull out of the playroom before I like buy anything that way I can kind of get an idea of like what kind of shelving I want in here. So it's not the best storage solution, but for now it's fine. I pulled quite a bit out of the playroom. So this is what the playroom looks like now. So this bin right here, I already kind of showed you what's in that one. So I just left like all of the things that they play with. And then I'm now using these baskets because I bought these baskets so long ago and we weren't even really using them. I kind of just had them stacked right there on the floor. So now I put them up here with some toys. That way they can like easily grab them. So this first one is the animals that I showed you guys. This one is the little wooden animals. There's some little blocks. These are pretty cool because they're like different shaped. They're like unique. So you have to kind of figure out how to stack them. So there's some blocks in this one. This one, I put Aurora's Minnie Mouse toys because she just got these for her birthday. Down here, we have the barbecue kit. I left it in this box because if you turn this box over, it's actually a grill and it has Velcro on it because the food has little Velcro, Velcro strips on it so you can place the food on the grill. So that's why I kind of left it in this box. So this bin is empty, so I'm thinking about just dumping this whole block set in there. This is our love every block set that I was telling you guys about. And I'm thinking about just dumping all of the blocks in here. That way it's easier for the girls because I kind of have a hard time putting them back in here whenever it's time for cleanup because it's pretty like compact. So you kind of have to turn the blocks a certain way because it's not just all square blocks. Like there's different kinds in here. Right next to the box set, I have the counting cookies. I left the puzzle out. This bin is pretty much like their new toys. So they're Polly Pockets and they're Squishies. This one, like I told you guys, I didn't touch it because I'm waiting for Layla. So this bin is all Barbies. This is a little wooden barn. This side over here, this is all of like their cars. So the Peppa car, Peppa carriage, and the little woodsy car. And then we have the Peppa house, the Peppa carrying case, and then the little woodsy house with all of the characters inside of it. So that's pretty much what it looks like. I think it came out pretty good. I think they have a good amount of toys still out to play with. So I completely forgot that I bought this little storage shelf. So I just built it and I brought back all of the kitchen food because the reason why I bought this is so that way it fits right here on the side of the kitchen and then the girls can have extra storage for all of like their food and aprons. So I brought this back out and then I'm gonna just let the girls put it on their shelves. Yes.
Okay guys, well that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely need to order some type of like shelving to store all of the toys. And then I think I'm going to store like the bigger toys inside of the garage, but the garage is a whole other project for another day. Our garage is so bad right now, so that's another project that I wanna do in the house. Overall, I'm just pretty happy with how it turned out. I feel like I downsized a lot in the playroom, which means hopefully they won't get bored of their toys and they'll actually play with the ones that are out. Let me know if you guys want to see a video of like their favorite toys. I think that would be a fun video to film, especially with Layla. I can have her like show you guys all of her favorite toys. Same thing with Aurora. So let me know if you guys want to see that video. I will leave our playroom makeover as well as our homeschool room makeover link down below if you guys want to check out those videos. But as always, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting